Bolts have been traveling up and down the Mississippi River for centuries. However, perhaps none as regal as the Queen of the Mississippi. This 150-passenger riverboat even comes equipped with an authentic paddle wheel. There's a lot of scenery that catches your eye. Some of these caves or mines that go into the, in the, the mountains and these mansions up on the peaks. And they catch you because that's what I'm doing mostly, sitting on the balcony and watching everything that goes by. <laughs> Frequent Mississippi cruisers like the Barnells have taken eight cruises up and down the Mississippi and really enjoy stopping at cities along the river, especially the town of Hannibal. They have a lot of personalities, you know, Huckleberry Finn and, and Becky Thatcher, all those, we met them. First mate Phil Whitley says the queen of the Mississippi comes with six lounges, a grand dining room, top deck cafe, and an exercise area. There's something for all the passengers. It was built in 2012, purpose built for the cruising up down the Mississippi River. Uh, we have one week cruises. We picked up people that are on board up in St. Louis. We're taking them up to St. Paul. Cruising up the Mississippi River is pretty common in Winona. But the River City hasn't had a riverboat this big dock here since 2008. We're a community, so it's wonderful for us to get a riverboat here again. Staying aboard the Queen of the Mississippi is like staying at a hotel, except it's on the water. Those who board receive three meals a day, have room service, satellite TV, and get about two hours at every stop to see each city's attractions. We have uh, such a great community, a great town, we're a great destination. And it's wonderful for us to meet people from all over who travel on the riverboats and give them a chance to, uh, I think, see a Midwestern river town like ours. The boat is scheduled to return and dock in Winona October 25th and 29th. For more information, visit www.visitwinona.com. In Winona, Jessica Malice, News 24.